My good people of Edo State, I am addressing you today to update you on the activities and efforts which the very dedicated Edo State COVID-19 response team have been undertaking to curb this pandemic. As of today, Edo State has 11 confirmed cases and sadly one death from COVID-19. Unfortunately, from the evidence we now have, the number of cases are likely to increase significantly in the next few weeks unless we take very drastic actions now to slow down the spread. We have gathered information that large numbers of our citizens who traveled back home in the last several weeks from overseas may not have self-isolated themselves. Although majority of the current cases are individuals with travel history and those of their relatives, in the coming days, we are likely to see community transmission of the virus to people who do not have any travel history. As a result of these developments, we have to now adopt more stringent measures while still trying to protect the livelihoods of our people. Edo State Government is very reluctant to have a total shutdown of the state because of the hardship it will cost to our people. However, if we are going to stop the spread of the virus, every person must be involved. It must be a shared responsibility. Government alone cannot stop it without the active cooperation of the citizens. As I emphasized in my last statement, the COVID-19 virus does not spread on its own. It is people who spread it when they move around. So if we can reduce the movement of people for a period, and keep safe distance from each other, the virus will not spread. Government will now strictly enforce all the guidelines which has been announced to control the spread of COVID-19. For the next 14 days, it is now compulsory that every person in Edo State must wear face masks while in public. The Edo State Association of Tailors and Fashion Designers are mass producing high quality reusable face masks at affordable prices. Any gathering of more than 20 people will be immediately dispersed and persons involved will be prosecuted. All markets in Edo State will be shut for fumigation, sanitization and thorough cleaning over the next 14 days. All those selling essential items like food and medicines will be relocated by their local governments to the, next, the nearest open spaces where they can sell their goods while observing social distancing regulations. The government of Edo State will shut down any hotel found to be hosting guests who travel from outside the state and have not informed the COVID-19 response team to screen such guests. Vehicles with passengers not adhering to the social distancing regulations will be impounded and the driver will be prosecuted. All business premises and households must have hand washing facilities at points of entry and please insist that everyone must wash their hands before entry. All government hospitals and primary health care centers and designated private clinics will be used as screening centers to screen citizens who believe that they may have been exposed or suspect that they may have symptoms of COVID-19. We have now completed the first set of training of our health workers in Edo State who will man these screening and isolation centers. Government is aware of the economic challenges caused by this prevailing situation. We know that many families who earn income on a daily basis are experiencing untold hardships. Working with the local governments, religious organizations and traditional rulers, we will be distributing food items to the most affected and the most vulnerable members of our communities. We continue to receive cash, equipment, drugs and food supplies 
from well-meaning individuals and government agencies. For this, we say thank you. The Secretary to the Government of Edo State will announce names of members of the committees who will be assisting us to coordinate our relief efforts. God bless the good people of Edo State and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.